So here is another file in folder two called Crooked Crops. And again, I purposely tilted my camera. This is obviously a crooked image. So if I wanted to straighten it out one more time, I click once on my crop tool and you'll notice you have the same straighten level up here. But if you don't want to use it, you do not have to. I can just click once, don't click and drag, but just click and that will activate your overlay. I'll switch this to the grid. And if I don't want to use the straighten level, I just want to do it by eye. I go outside the box and I click and drag. And you can see that I can rotate the photo to line it up visually with those lines on the grid right about there. So I'm looking at this line right across here. That looks pretty darn straight across that. And the lines look pretty straight according to the columns, but I'm really looking at these right in here. And I like that, so I'm just gonna hit return. Okay, but if you don't trust your eyes, you can use the straighten level. And I wanna show you two ways to do it. So I'm gonna to go to edit, undo, if I'm still on the crop tool, but I don't see the boundary, just click. You'll just reestablish or reset the crop tool. And right up here, I'm going to click next to the word straighten, pick the straightening level one more time. Like I showed you before, you can click and drag horizontally. And if you like it, you hit return. Or another way. I'm going to go to edit and undo one more time, click to reset the crop one more time. And then when I click this straighten level again, one more time, if I've got a vertical edge, I can use it that way too. So I'll go right on the corner of this door, click and drag down and it will still straighten it out just fine. You know, if you have a really tall building, and you only have three windows, but the building's really tall, you can click and drag down the side of a building instead of across a couple of windows. That's just an analogy there. But since I had a vertical edge, I can drag down the vertical and hit return. So that's another way to use the crop tool here in Photoshop. The only other thing I would recommend is once you are done cropping, click on your move tool just get off of the crop tool so photoshop doesn't think you're still trying to cut away edges of a photo crop it and move out of the crop tool all right